Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to unroot the Motorola Milestone and get it back to factory spec for warranty or for whatever reasons. So if you're not right there, head over to TheUnlocker.com, spell like that in the address bar, and then search for our How to Unroot the Motorola Milestone. Okay, before we begin, uh, this is assuming that you did our How to Root the Motorola Milestone procedure. If you haven't, go take a look at it um, by clicking on the link right there in that first step. And once you have done it that way, then you can come to this and continue. Okay, now we need to download the ADB recovery uh, zip file. So you're gonna click on the link here. Scroll down and the very first link you see is the one you want. So download that. Okay, so once we've downloaded the zip file, we're going to extract it somewhere. You can just right click it, hit extract all. Bring up this menu here. You can just leave whatever it says and hit extract at the bottom. And that should extract it to this folder here. So now we have that, this folder inside, and these are the two files we're actually going to be using. Okay, now we're going to need to plug in the Motorola Milestone. Plug it in like that. And then we're going to pull down the top, tap that, and hit memory card management and OK. Okay, so now we're going to open the extracted uh, ADB recovery file. We're going to open the NSD root, and we're going to take these two files, the uh, folder recovery and the update.zip file, we're going to highlight both of them, and we're just going to drag them over to our phone's SD card. Now we're not going to put them inside any folders, we're just going to put them on the SD card itself. Okay, and then we'll let that copy. Okay, once we've transferred that stuff to the SD card on the milestone, we can unplug it. And then we can turn it off. And now we're going to turn it back on by holding down camera and power and keep holding it. So you see this exclamation point. Once you do, you can let go. Now you're going to hold down volume up and then press camera. And you should be presented with the recovery menu. Okay, once we see the recovery menu, we're going to slide open the keyboard because we need to use the D-pad. We're going to push what is right, or down in this case, and click apply SD update.zip by pushing on the gold button. And let it update the phone. Okay, once it's done, you might lose your backlight. Don't worry about it. You're going to leave it in recovery, don't do anything else, and we're just going to plug it into the USB cable. Now, okay, now on the computer, we're gonna open our command prompt by clicking on the start menu and typing CMD. Okay, once we've done that, we're gonna type into the command prompt. Uh, don't worry what I'm typing here, you can just follow the written instructions on the site. Okay, at this step where I write CD uh, Android SDK slash tools, Android SDK is, SDK is the name of the folder we gave the Android SDK if you did our ADB procedure. Um, so if you didn't do our ADB procedure, you might want to go check it out and just rename your folders so that they fit ours. Um, this way it just goes a lot smoother. Or just know that whenever I type Android SDK, I'm actually just typing the folder name for the SDK. Just replace your folder name. Okay, and it's going to ask you to enter a prefix substring. Uh, we're just going to call it milestone. And let it do its backup. Okay, and when it's done, it'll say the backup is successful. Uh, and you'll get a prompt again. You're going to type in reboot and hit enter. And this should reboot your phone. Okay, once the phone boots back into normal mode, after we typed reboot, we're going to keep it plugged in. 
and we're just going to pull down the top, USB, memory card management, click OK. Okay, so once we mount the SD card on our computer, we're going to open it, and you'll see a folder called an Android. We're going to grab it and save it somewhere onto our computer. Uh, and this is going to be used as a backup in case we ever want to unroot or get back to the way we were before. Okay, after you've mounted the SD card, you're going to click on the backup repository. We have linked there. And scroll down. And if you keep scrolling, you'll have a list of backups here. Choose the one that is for your region and says non-rooted next to it. So let's find one that's non-rooted to show you. Like this one. See for Germany, not rooted on 2.0. 2.0.1, not rooted, etc. Choose any one of those, download it, and we can continue. Okay, okay so once you've downloaded that, you're gonna right click it, extract all, and then click extract. And then we're gonna open the folder, open the folder inside. And we're gonna select all of these files that's in here. Not the folder, the files themselves. We're going to copy them. And then we're gonna go over to our SD card. Click on Android, console, milestone. And we're going to paste them into here. Um, so we click that, it's gonna ask you if you want to overwrite files with the same name, you're going to say, do this for the next four conflicts, and then copy and replace, and let it copy. Okay, once it's done copying the files over, we're going to turn off the phone, we're also going to unplug it, and we're going to turn it back on by holding down power and camera again, and we're going to keep holding it. So we see the exclamation point, and then we can let go. Now we're gonna hold volume up, and then push power, excuse me, push camera. And we'll be greeted with the recovery menu. We're gonna then slide open the keyboard, push down, and select apply SD card update.zip. And then close this, and wait for it to finish. Okay, once it's done, you're going to plug the phone back in. Okay, now that we've plugged the phone back into the computer, we're going to type in our command prompt. Okay, and after you've hit enter a few times, when it asks you questions, it should begin to restore the backup. Okay, once you're done, it should say restore done. And now we can type reboot and hit enter. And the phone should reboot. Okay, once you reboot the phone, you should be back to your original shift ROM.